It's Mom and Pop Video Shop. Welcome back to Mom and Pop Video Shop. I'm Tyson. Joel. And this is another episode of Weekly Retro Movie Reviews. Booyah! Did I get it? And I want to cringe. Close enough. Did I get it? I got it. With, there was a delay, but I figured maybe you're doing your uh, Christopher I Walken said, impression again. Yeah, I almost said recommendations, but it's, it's both. It's, it's both. a recommendation. Yeah, because by and large, we're not going to really review, take a special review for something we hate. Although, that would be fun if we did that. We should do that at some point. One time we should do it. Yeah, for sure. So, here's the thing. Uh, I'm busting a sequel out. Ooh. Uh, I, I actually, week. I feel like I might be in a minority in this because I know we always like joke about like, oh, there's too many sequels. And there are, especially nowadays. Mm -hmm. But I kind of, there's a lot of sequels I love, dude. I, I, there's a lot I love. And technically, when you think about it, this is a sequel to a remake. Yes. And uh, I know what it is. So. It stars one of the, the largest stars to ever grace yes. the silver screen. Yes. Uh, I'm talking about a little flick from 1987 called King Kong Lives. Oh, yeah. Right. I saw this in the theater, Joel. My mom took me to see this in I the theater. Think, I was five years old. That's very cool. I think my dad rented that. I feel like we rented it. I don't think we saw it. He took me to see Godzilla in 1984 in the theater, but that I think was a rental. Gotcha. Yeah, and is that the one with Linda Hamilton? This is the one with okay, Linda, okay, Linda Hamilton. Okay, okay, Absolutely. Cool, cool. So uh, yes, this is actually a sequel to the 1976 mm -hmm. Dino De Laurentiis Yep. Uh, King Kong starring. Did Joe Laurentiis do this one too? Uh, De Laurentiis did not do this that ah. I know. This is a, a, a Lord, well, it's Lorimar, Lorimar yeah. video, but. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. De Laurentiis Entertainment. This makes up for my earlier dolls thing where I said 87 and it was 86. And, and the more you feel like, like it, it would be hard. Oh, no, I totally feel like De Laurentiis. that De Laurentiis didn't do this. Oh, my God. Exactly. So I will read from the back uh, of the box. I feel like maybe this is one that might have slipped by. A few people there. Sure. There may be some folks that didn't realize that King Kong 1976 indeed had a sequel. And we were just talking about Stepfather and how some of those sequels, it's kind of hard to believe that uh, the main character might have. What, what are you trying to say? No, I'm just saying that, that, that we discussed that there are. So you're saying that the fact that he took what a I'm swan saying, dive off of the Empire State Building, he shouldn't be in a sequel? Exactly. What yeah. I'm saying is that it's for some might be hard to believe that Kong. Because it's not hard to believe that there's a giant gorilla. I'd buy that for a dollar. I kind of feel like there's certain movies, if you're willing to go with the premise, shut up about everything else. Let's just assume that that's just the go case. With it. But, yeah. uh, I'll read the back of the VHS box here. Yeah. So, King Kong Lives. In the great tradition of Hollywood's larger-than-life illusions, King Kong Lives brings the legendary King Kong back to life. Linda Hamilton from The Terminator and Black Moon Rising hmm? stars with Brian Kerwin of Murphy's Romance. Okay. They star in this exciting sequel to the 1976 Academy Award winning film, King Kong. <laughs> the 76 version was Academy Award winning? Yeah, really? I'm sure for the effects. Oh, okay. Probably, yeah, that's gotta be what it's for, right? Yeah, it had to be. 10 years after his perilous fall from the towering skyscraper, Kong is revived through the miracle of modern medicine <laughs> and is brought together with what will become his mate for life, Lady Kong. I love it. When you're that. reading the back, like this literally may be the, one of the dumbest plot synopsis of any movie we've ever covered. When the two apes escape, the military is sent out to track them down. The adventure begins with the capture of Lady Kong and climaxes with a torrid battle between Kong and her captors. <laughs> Listen. By, by the way, how, how disturbing is that visual? A climaxing with Kong and her captors? Whoa, hey exactly. It's so, that kind of movie. Uh, here's the thing. Folks, if you've never seen King Kong, it's, it is batshit crazy. However, yes, uh, justify it. Come on, yeah, you get awesome special effects. Uh, it, and by they, awesome, he means 1986 yes. or seven. And I'm gonna is it seven? I'm gonna give some massive spoilers here, but uh, you may be asking yourself how oh, in, no. how in the hell did uh, and actually in 1976 it wasn't the Empire State Building; it was actually the the World Trade Center. That's the right. Yeah. yeah. How did Kong survive that fall? Well, in point of fact, he did not. But uh, they apparently rushed into the local giant primate hospital uh somehow kept him on life support and 10 years later managed to manufacture an artificial heart that they transplant into kong and he comes back bigger and stronger than ever and not only that but uh they found a another member of his particular species on the uh, island of borneo mm -hmm. i remember that mm -hmm. much about this movie mm -hmm. uh they bring her 
to the States. And even though it's like two miles away, uh, Kong can smell uh, the other member of his species. Of course and you can. that's why he escapes his medical facility. They run off together. And big spoiler alert, they make a baby Kong. Yes. Yeah, you don't say. What you get is a lot of the scenes that as kids like you wanted to see like kong eating people and yeah graphic crushing, which that's i mean for I mean, you're not gonna it's it's a pg movie right um I'm pretty sure it, it is but that, now that i think it is pg-13 oh was it pg-13 yeah, no, okay that, that was one of those like earlier pg yeah yeah okay exactly there's some there's some disturbing scenes like the eating the, the people like, yeah you know, the scene where he like picks up the crocodiles and you can tell like they're the fakest little oh yeah they're supposed to be you're supposed we're supposed to believe like the yes size alligators yeah yeah, so. yeah 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 hey this was before uh, CGI, so yes. all the effects are practical. No kidding. Not all of them work. <laughs> uh, but again, this is a, a definitely a C and D oh, installment for this, me. This movie is beyond C and D. So here's the thing about that movie: I haven't seen it probably since like we read it as a kid. Because even as a child, I had no discernment. Like there were movies that, in hindsight, hence where the C and D thing came from, where. They're, they're objectively not good movies, but as a kid, I, I always thought if I didn't understand something, I was the problem, not the movie. No, 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 no. You had it right the first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And so that's one of the few I remember watching, even as a child, going, <laughs> It's not me. It's, it's actually, you. it's not me, it's you. <laughs> this movie is bonkers and not necessarily in a good way. Though, I will say this. I, Absolutely want to rewatch this, and absolutely want to rewatch this with my kids because I think we will have a ball. Yeah. Carlo with Rimbaldi. This. Did, yes. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, the ET. He did yeah, ET. It's the, it's yeah. The, you know the same. I think he did uh, seventy six Kong as well. Oh, did he? Okay. I think so. Yeah. I but so. but and I mean, or no, was that Rick Baker? You tell me. Rick Baker. I, he may have. Rick I Baker did actual suit work, I think, but Rimbaldi might have done maybe the, the, big, the big design. The big stuff. Yeah. yeah. So. I just, like I said, for me, I have almost no memory of this movie. Although I remember him on the, like, whatever they've got him. I saw like Gurney. But I remember him in the hospital. And yeah. I remember, like, that. And I can, there's, like, fly, like images. The open like, heart surgery. They come in with, like, a Jaws of Life yeah. size. And I remember the gator thing when you bring that. Dude, how is this PG-13? I know. It's blood. Now I think it's bloody as hell. Well, keep in mind, PG thirteen in the early, in the mid, rather the mid to late eighties was borderline this R. Like it meant so. something. It, like a PG thirteen back I then. Think we, I think you see some Linda Hamilton boobies. Do you really? I think a quick. Oh really? Yeah, yeah like, like a side quick. boob. Yeah, but I. Yeah. You creep. Not that just I. Just saying. Not that I pause that a lot. As a, <laughs> you know, but uh, just saying. Uh, King Kong lives for me. It has a special place in my heart because sure. I think I mentioned it. Uh, <laughs> my mom took me to the theater I get to it. see it. So that that's the, nothing cooler than uh, getting Linda Hamilton side boob while you're you know, Fair enough. five years old sitting next to your sitting next to your mom. These people are creepy. They're creepy. So the what is, what's the tape? It what, what's the tape? Uh, I'm gonna go three tapes. Okay. On King Kong lives, and I'm gonna say this much about it. Mm -hmm. I don't care what, how big a badass you are, if you watch King Kong lives all the way to the ending, and you don't cry your eyes out, you're full of shit. You all full of shit, okay? You like tears of laughter? No, it's tears of, it's tears of sadness, I'm just saying. Okay, well, we'll see if that holds sure for like, my kids are like, it's uh, like uh, this would be able to gauge if my kids are sociopaths or not, like if they're like crying, but like from laughter at the end of the well, movie. All I'm gonna say <laughs> for me personally, it's like old yeller. Really? Yes. Uh, yes. You're so heartless. Old yeller. Uh, uh, Fast and Furious Part 7. Oh my God. And, <laughs> yes. And then King Kong Liz is like their top three, like wow. cry, cry my eyes out. What are you, a pussy? Uh, I haven't seen past like Fast and Furious 4, so I have no idea, but oh, the other makes sense. The other ones don't. Um, that being said, for me, here's the thing. I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna say it's a three taper. Okay. And here well, is we why. Agree then. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Because I two taper means I'm taking it back the same day because essentially I'm like, meh. I have a feeling, even as a kid, even though I remember thinking it was just ridiculous, I would have liked aspects of it. And I could definitely especially now as a as a per, as an adult person, I would want I wouldn't want to rush it back. Like I feel just yeah, it's so ridiculous. Yes, it's you, fun. Like you, you don't just want to have your buddy come over and watch it or something, or your kids or whatever, just because it's so just nuts. Yeah, it's bonkers. Yeah. So anyway, if you have seen King Kong lives, you haven't. What do you know? But tell us your general thoughts about King Kong in general, uh, and uh, leave a comment below, please. Do um, I think that's about it, right? That's all I got. Okay. So hey, thanks for coming by the shop and listen listening to us uh, talk about again one of the greatest sequels ever made, King Kong lives. And until next time, remember at Mom and Pops our love of. 
Beauty and the Beast, the TV show. With Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton and Ron Perlman. And Ron Perlman. Never stops. Do you see side boob in that? Bronze. I'll take it. Uh -huh.